Hello, I would like to present you an old computer, which is the Sharp mz 80 b one of these old 8-bit computers from the 80s. Um, this one is this, uh, the business model, top model, pre, um, published in 1981 um, from a series of computers from Sharp. The first one was the Sharp mz 80 k then the B, then the A, and then the 700, 800. We have also 3540, um, a high 8-bit set 80 computer. This one was um, the business model, pretty expensive, and uh, you can start it by by disk or by cassette-based software. Sharp computers were marketed as clean-based computers, which uh, means that they don't have uh, the basic in ROM. Everything has to be loaded. You can see here the loading of the double precision basic SP6610 and the uh, monitor. Um, due to its age, it's very difficult to find the old floppy disk, and this model here has a, a electronic uh, emulated disk, but um, software is still working, as you can see. Uh, this model has 64 byte uh, kilobyte RAM. Uh, we see here now uh, the, the, the booting process again. I, I press the reset button. First the monitor is loaded and then the basic from the uh, SD card, will, which we'll introduce later. The first language for those computers uh, in those days were basic and the companies always delivered one or several basic. We have a disk basic, we have a tape basic, and uh, you can see you can just um, print the content of the disk and then just load the content, uh, load a basic uh, oriented program or start it directly. This is one of these uh, strange software uh, programs from those days. As mentioned, the B was the top model and it had uh, a high resolution graphic, 320 points uh, and 200 points uh, in two planes. And of course BASIC as the main language, um, lots of spaghetti code and um, lots of nights spent programming several BASIC programs. The B is set 80 based and therefore it is also able to run CPM 2.2 uh, and um, you may see here that I changed the disk now. Um, I have only one drive, a floppy drive left which is more or less working and therefore I decided to use an SD disk uh, based floppy emulation system which is uh, attached to the inbuilt floppy connector. Now I am uh, have changed the disk and I am booting the CPM system 2.2 from Micro Technologies. And all these bad days was tape-based computing. You have to buy uh, normal cassettes to store and load data from this. And uh, uh, the B was a very high sophisticated um, computer those days because it has a um, um, computer controlled tape recorder, as you noticed here. Um, it can be open, rewind, uh, forward and play. Um, and even record manual uh, automatically controlled by the computer. And you see here this is a control uh, a program which transfers uh, stuff from the tape to the computer to the disk. As I mentioned, um, the old floppies are most mostly gone. They are they are not working anymore and we have to transfer the software from um, the old floppies to, uh, li to emulators like this. Um, this is a two disk emulator which can uh, you put uh, disk images on an SD um, card and then you can select uh, which um, image is selected as, as drive 1 and 2 and then you simply um, boot the start. You just boot the computer 
and as you can see um, the staff is loading without any problems in here you can see even that something is happening The B has um, an expansion port. You can see it on the where in the movie where the cards are fit in, and uh, we have now here four cards inserted: a serial card, the floppy controller, a parallel, and the quick disk controller from the MZ800. Then we see here the additional 60, uh, 32 bytes and, and this is an additional card where to get the high resolution graphics. You can put uh, in the expansion port another graphic card to get two plus